soaking wet. We made it though. Hey, look at this storm cloud. Look at this. That's Florida weather right there. Glasses are all foggy. We're gonna catch a fish. Hey guys, so I'm headed out to meet Brian Landry at the boat ramp, going offshore today. It's gonna be awesome. Check out my new rig. I'm trying to chest mount today. So I'll see you out there in a second. How's it going? Good. Jack Motley. Clay, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Hey, Sally. Jack, how you doing, man? Good, how are nice you? Sally. Hi, I'm Sally. Hi. So nice Amanda to meet you. Made, you know? No, she could only take off till like half day. and uh, So she should go next time. Loaded up, ready to head out. Yeah, it looks like some bonitas over there. We're catching some bait. We ran across a pod. Figured we'd throw at them just in case we can't get it out there. Got to get it when you can. Hey, that was a rough one. Soaking wet. We made it though. Hey, look at this storm cloud. Look at this. That's Florida weather right there. Glasses are all foggy. We're gonna catch a fish. Yeah, go ahead. Get her set up and then uh got one. All right, come to me, Tuna. This is where you earn your combat stripes today. I'm telling you, this is not easy. Not not How big is he? Oh, that's a, that's a nice one. Yeah. What are they, 16 so far? Here's a real good one. Woo! Get on up here. Really? Yeah. You know what? We're about ready to pull up. <laughs> <laughs> I think that hooks him up. Alright, let me get him. Yep. Yeah. Put some ruin on him. Woo! Look at that. Alright, Big trigger. So we 
we've been moving spots. We've been to like four spots. It was really rough out deep. So we came back in closer to shore and we're just looking for some snapper. We're gonna try to get some, some meat for the table. Whoa! So the, the, the rain left and it's turned into a pretty day. Pretty Friday afternoon. Give him a little pep talk, Jack. Yeah, give him a pep talk. <laughs> Do your thing. Got him. Get him up here. Oh no. I got a little, uh, was that a vermilion? Oh, chunk these back. I guess uh I don't know how to clean them. Yeah. They sure enough got some red lips. Look at that. Look at that lip. Oh, that's a good one. What'd you get? Oh, uh, is he, is he? Oh, bring is he, him in, swing him in. Oh, that's a snapper. Too right? small. Still pretty though. Yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. We got a couple snappers and some triggers. Small snappers, but big triggers. Just made the long run back in. What a really great day, but we got some vermilion, so we got some tacos. <laughs> Just do a 360 on him. There's Brant. Where's the fish at? You got them all? We didn't get them. I didn't catch anything. We caught some vermilion. So rough out there. Was it really? Oh, it was bad, yeah. So that was a rough day. But any day on the water, it's a great day. Still had fun. I'm just glad that that big storm didn't hit us. But we were able to get out there. Sea Station was kind of all over the place because, you know, it was just kind of swirly whirly out there. All right, guys, so I'm back at the house and I got Samantha here. And we are gonna do our best to cook this vermilion snapper and this lane snapper. We got three vermilions and one lane snapper. And we're gonna cook them. And Samantha's gonna walk you through it, just blow by blow, and then we're gonna eat it. And it's gonna taste great. Having tacos tonight. We're doing tacos! I, she didn't tell me we were doing tacos, I thought we were grilling it, but we're doing tacos! Okay guys, so Jack just filleted the snapper, and we are going to season it up and then sear it off really quick. Um, in this seasoning, it is paprika, cayenne, garlic powder, cumin, salt, and pepper. So it should be really tasty and a little spicy. Season it up liberally. All right, here we go. These two types of fish are pretty uh, prevalent all over the Gulf Coast. You can pretty much go out to any reef, drop some squid down, and in like two seconds you're gonna catch one of these fish. 
they're usually around, they usually hang around a lot of just bottom structure and uh, the regulations are pretty loose on these two uh, species of fish. It's not like the big red snapper, but they're pretty tasty to eat and they're really good in tacos. Okay, so with the snapper and our tacos, we're going to have a slaw. So I just did like a coleslaw mixture and then I added white vinegar, sugar, some green onions and a jalapeno. So that should what? be really tasty and give it like a little tangy bite. They come from the garden? Uh, the jalapeno and the green onion came from the garden. That's what I'm talking about. And then, to top it off, we have a lime crema. So it's sour cream, a little bit of mayonnaise, and then lime juice. So it's pretty easy. So it should cool down the spicy fish, so it should be a good taco night. Taco night! All right guys, so the meat is cooked and Samantha's ready to build a snapper taco. What, what are we naming these snapper tacos? Snackos? Snackos? <laughs> <laughs> All right, build us up a good one. All right, so I have my tortilla here. I use these tortillas. They are very good. They are low carb. They're good, they're great. Awesome. They actually taste good, in my opinion. We like tacos that taste good. Yep. Oh. Falling apart on me. That's all right if they fall apart. They will get smushed anyways. Baxter will get that one to just hit the floor. Oh no. Surprised he's not over here waiting. Baxter, post! He's too old to come get it. He'll find it later. So you're gonna put that cabbage stuff over there too? Yeah, we'll put the cabbage on it in a minute. What, what, cabbage? Okay. I did that a little messy, but y'all get the point. So it's our cabbage slaw. Yummy. We have our crema, our lime crema. It just means flavored sour cream. And then I love avocado. Avocado! Pretty much on anything. I'm not a real big avocado fan. Oh, well, man. I'll snap it down. But... I can eat an avocado on a saltine cracker just by itself, and it's amazing. All right. Are you going to do a bite? Yeah. Ooh, I had a little piece of that fish that fell off. Got some heat on it. Got some heat! Might need to it, adjust it, the cayenne. Is it throwing smoke? Yeah, it's throwing smoke. Can you see it coming out of my nose and ears? <laughs> see that bite? Is it good? Mm-hmm. It was worth the work to go get it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doing good, Jack. The cabbage gives it a little crunch, and the lime crema and the cabbage cools down the fish because just the fish by itself is spicy, like it's burning in the back of my throat, but in a good way. <laughs> Y'all, check it out. All right, guys, so that was my day from the beginning to the end. From 5.30 this morning to when I met them at the boat at 7.00 and then back here and now it's about six o'clock and the day is through so hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like and subscribe comment down below if you got any good recipes i'll see you guys tomorrow or the next day probably tomorrow see you later bye wanna stay right here with you wanna stay right here with you as the rest we fall until it all breaks down but I need